Well, hello, good people. Oh my gosh, guys, I gotta tell you this story. So please don't mind my voice. I am allergic to every tree, every branch, every rock, every leaf, different forms of pollen. I am allergic, so I am dealing with that right now. But yo, these graduates, they gotta celebrate graduation. So me, I have to press through so I can make it happen. And so tell me why. Today I did the setup for the Mason 2022 sculptures. And so I woke up at 4 a.m., got to the campus at 5 a.m. And it was still dark outside, of course. So I had to set up in two locations. The 2022 was going on one location and the Mason was going in another location. So I get to my first location and I'm setting up the 2022. Two's looking good, pop that puppy in there. Zero's looking good, pop that puppy in. Third number two, pop that puppy in. And then we get to the last two. Now let me tell you guys about the last two. We got into a fight. We got into a fight. I went to go put that last number two in the grass and that number two sucker punched me. I toppled over that number two. I fell to the ground. She was underneath of me and about 80% of her pop. <laughs> that was not a fight that I wanted to win. So guys, luckily it's like three hours before graduation starts. So I'm looking good on time, but now I gotta make it happen, right? So luckily I had brought with me extra balloons. So I had to redo 80% of that number two there on site, which delayed me by a good 45 minutes or so. But I was able to get that number two looking right, put her in, told her about herself, and went on to take the Mason sculptures to the second location and where that was supposed to be. But if you guys could have seen me topple over that number two, all I could do was laugh at myself because there was nothing else I could do. There was somebody in their car sitting and I guess waiting for, for somebody. And I know they saw me topple over that number two and got a good laugh, but we are both laughing. So the number two got me. She tried to slow me down, but she didn't get me down guys. But I wanted to get on here and share that story because this is the life of a balloon business owner. Things happen, you gotta MacGyver, you gotta think fast, you gotta keep moving. It's almost normal, guys. It's when things go wrong, when you're on site, remember this story and know, like, hey, don't let it get you down. This comes with the business. Brittany said, this is normal. And we like a challenge. Give it to us, we'll take it. <laughs> Even though that tooth got me, but I have a lot of good content coming for you guys. Graduation season is in full swing. After I left doing the setup for that graduation, I went and did a private graduation and it's a really pretty purple color scheme. So be on the lookout for that. Right now I'm working on mosaics. I'm putting bases on the back of mosaics for a product launch that's gonna be tomorrow, which is also gonna have a balloon garland that goes with it. So that should be fun. And then I have 70th birthday party tomorrow and I have a neon balloon garland that I am doing for Sunday So be on the lookout guys, please subscribe. Please like please comment if you've ever had a horror story When it comes to setting up balloons, please share so that everybody knows that it happens to all of us But guys be on the lookout. We're about to have some fun. Thank you guys so much for letting me talk your head off about my my tumble. And until next time, good people, 